Strategies for Anger, video 6 of 6. Let's get to it. Like and subscribe. I also need to recognize if there are other issues going on that cause me to be even more angry or cause my anger to escalate. Um, again, one of the reasons that's important is that's why a lot of times we uh, blow situations out of proportion. So we may have a seemingly small incident where somebody, you know, does something out of line, but we take it way far beyond uh, where it needed to go. And sometimes the reason for that is we were already going through some stuff before that person did whatever it was that they done. Now, we may have still gotten angry, even if we weren't going through some stuff, but we probably would have dealt with the situation differently. So it's important for us to look at our feelings and to do it on a regular basis and not just wait till we get angry, right? Just throughout the day, it's important for me to recognize how I'm feeling at any given moment, right? Because that will also uh, mean that sometimes you may want to manage your environment, the type of people that you're around, because some people... Uh, will have a tendency to bring out the worst in us. So some uh, again, uh, this section says uh, sometimes uh, it helps to uh, take a moment to think about what emotions might be lurking beneath your anger. Anger often serves as a protective mask to help you avoid feeling uh, more painful emotions like embarrassment, sadness, and disappointment. Again, anger is one of our key defense mechanisms against feeling vulnerable. Nobody likes to feel vulnerable or likes to feel weak. So when we're in a situation where we begin to feel vulnerable, feel weak or feel fear or these type of things, we it tends to transition into anger because anger, as we begin to get angry, we begin to feel strong. We begin to feel uh uh, braver, more courage or what have you. That's why, again, you know, I mentioned the uh, exercise or excuse me, um, uh, like a UFC fighter or, or a boxer, you know, getting into their zone or pumping themselves up. Right. When they're doing that, they're actually they're actually um, employing their their anger um, to help them to get ready for the situation. Now, it's not anger in the traditional sense where you're just out of control anger because that's not going to help you, especially in a fight, right? If you're out of control, then you're not going to be uh, thinking clearly. You're not going to be paying attention to the situation and you're likely, uh, uh, especially if you're dealing with somebody that know what they're doing, you're likely going to uh, get yourself hurt, right? But um, you're you're getting your, your anger to arouse in a... Uh, responsible and controlled way, right? Um, so you want to know, okay, it, or am I becoming angry uh, because I'm feeling vulnerable in a certain way? So let's say um, it's a situation with a friend or relative and something that they said, and you become extremely angry with them. And so, so what you want to know, because anger is a, a secondary emotion, meaning that, um, when we become angry, we have more primary emotions that occur within us that cause us to, to feel angry. And uh, identifying what that primary emotion is sometimes is helpful in helping us to de-escalate the anger. Because if I can, can understand that um, the reason I'm angry with this person is because I feel hurt, right? then I can address that uh, with the person and, and potentially come to um, uh, a reasonable uh, agreement, right? And we, we kind of work out the situation. Okay, then it brings us to avoid suppressing your anger. So again, this is important. Now, we, we talked about, or we talk about that venting anger is not always desirable, right? It's not always desirable. And sometimes you're gonna you're going to vent your anger, but you want to do it in a reasonable, controlled way when you happen to uh, vent your anger. But here is talking about suppressing the anger. So just suppressing it or internalizing the anger is not healthy. Uh, getting 
uh, getting to the underlying cause of your anger is much more effective than suppressing your anger. Though it can be tempting to try to minimize an undesirable emotion, you are likely to cause even more stress by denying your anger altogether. And, and one of the reasons, because even like sometimes we can try to suppress our anger and not even think about it, right? We talked about uh, helping to manage our anger by distracting ourselves, right? Um, and thinking about something else. Now, that's kind of suppression in a way, but in that case, we're talking about temporarily distracting ourselves while we're in an extreme uh, state of anger so that um, we give ourselves an opportunity to calm down. And then as we, uh, when we are in a calm state, we go back and look for a solution to the situation. Uh, and then it talks about uh, create a calm down kit or, and it's talking about, it's called it a, a calm down kit. But um, uh, in a lot of my uh, videos and the stuff that I'll be talking about in different videos, we'll call it a, a anger control plan or anger management plan, right? And so your calm down kit it, are the things that you do that helps you to relax. For some people, it might be the breathing techniques. Other people, it may be um, their, their spiritual focus. I mentioned in another video how some people, let's say uh, Catholics, for example, may, may, may recite like a rosary, or you may have some uh, Christians may recite uh, you know, psalm, a psalm, psalms, or uh, or uh, you know, some other uh, biblical verse. And um, uh, Muslims, same thing. They may recite uh, you know, certain verses uh, from the Quran that helps them to calm down. Or they may do dhikrs, dhikrs, uh, uh, Arabic word for uh, remembrance, right? And they'll you know, use the beads and similar to, I guess, the closest thing you would say, similar to like a Catholic rosary. Um, where they re re recite certain uh, sayings and or attributes of God that um, helps them to get into a more spiritual and or relaxed state so that they uh, are not in that extreme state of anger, right? Whatever it is for you, right? For each one of us, it's going to be a little bit different, but it's going to be what works for you. Over time, we will do, uh, we will talk about different strategies in these videos like this a particular video it mentions a few different strategies right we want to have in our anger control plan we want to have multiple strategies that we're able to use to help us to manage our anger but any one strategy all what well, excuse me while it may work for some people is not going to necessarily work for everyone and it may not work for you you may um need to find your own uh, strategies, or it may be a combination of certain things that we talk about. But the more we practice and the more that we look for a solution, we will eventually uh, find a solution that actually works. So, um, yeah, so this is, um, you know, uh, a very important a uh, topic for us when we talk about things like anger management, because so many of us, the reason that we got in trouble in the past was um, due to uh, the way that we manage our anger, not so much due to our anger. And sometimes you'll hear me uh, say um, due to our anger. But whenever I say that, think of uh, the fact that it's due to how we manage our anger, because again, anger in and of itself is not bad. Anger is not necessarily bad. What we do with that anger can be bad, and it will be the thing that causes us problems if we have uh, anger management issues. And again, it's anger management problems, right? And so again, the way that we manage our anger, that's, that's what we're hoping to improve. And hopefully, um, we can improve some of these things together. Um, anyway, um, Definitely uh, let me know uh, what you think. And um, in this video, I actually done uh, one long, like hour long video that I uh, broke into parts. This being the last part of that uh, video series. I'm just going to go through and edit 
and break it into to a couple a few different sections right but uh definitely let me know uh what you think about the video uh, and videos and uh let me know what you would like to hear or hear me talk about right i can run through a, a a variety of topics not that i know everything but i'm always willing to learn and this is my goal this is my mission to bring value to the people to the community and become part of the solution rather than uh part of the problem i have been lived my life as part of the problem now i want to be part of the solution anyway if uh please like the video hit the like button and subscribe to the channel i'm definitely trying to grow uh, maybe share the video on the different platforms or make a short out of the video and share it on the platform. Help me to build up the channel and uh, build up the subscribers. Uh, hopefully we can uh, build this education together and become successful together. That's all for now. Peace.